Right now, let's look at the numbers on Wall Street. The Dow, as you can see, is up 42 and a half points. NASDAQ is up four and three quarters. S&P 500 up six and a third. Today, President Obama is expected to host a conference call with a bipartisan group of mayors and community leaders. The focus of that discussion, how to improve the economy and avoid the so-called fiscal cliff. The president discussed that issue with House Speaker John Boehner during a phone call last night. Both offered new proposals. Now, the White House offer includes $1.4 trillion in new revenue. That's down slightly from its original plan of $1.6 trillion. The Republican plan didn't change much. It offers $800 billion in new revenue, all from closing loopholes, not raising taxes. A new poll out this morning could be a negative sign for retailers. Walmart customers are worried enough about the fiscal cliff that it is affecting their holiday spending. Retailers rely on year-end holiday shopping for a huge percentage, as you know, of their annual revenue. The number of homes going into foreclosure in Colorado metro areas has dipped to the lowest levels in nearly six years. That is the message from the Colorado Division of Housing. There were 1,450 new filings in November, and as you can see from this graph that we're going to pop up there for you to look at in a moment, let me tell you about it, that's down 37% from November of last year. Experts say the decline is greater than expected, so they see this as good news. Christmas is under attack. Knife-wielding vandals again have struck in North and West Denver, slashing inflatable yard decorations. Police say they see it every year. They call them bah humbug criminals and say they target displays like these. We're showing you photos of the Rayburn's yard from Christmas's past, but Kelly Rayburn's husband took it all down after the recent vandalism. It's something that he and my daughter have done every year, and he puts a lot of work into and share a little bit of the Christmas spirit, so um, he was very upset. I just think that they should know that it was one of my favorite parts of Christmas. Rayburn posted a message on Facebook warning neighbors in Harvey Park. Police say the best thing that you can do is be a good witness for your neighbors. New for you this morning, with list in hand, a Marine helps an Elbert County Motorcycle Club fulfill children's Christmas wishes. The group went searching through this Elizabeth Walmart for gifts requested from young children in need. The Elbert County Riders Motorcycle Club raised $5,000 this year. The money is going to these gifts as part of the Toys for Tots program. Being able to fulfill uh, children's um, Christmas wishes is, is, I think, the, probably the, one of the, the strongest, strongest uh, points that we like to do. It. Well, there's still a huge need in our area. Toys for Tots spoke with us a week ago and told us they still needed about 85,000 toys at that time to fill all of the requests. Next Tuesday is the deadline for donating, so you still have a little time to get your toys and other goodies into them. It's not just any Wednesday. This is 12-12-12. It's the last time you're going to see a triple date in almost a century. Some Asian countries consider today a lucky, magical marriage date. Took a, take a look at all these couples. Wedding planners and event organizers are swamped with bookings right now. One Las Vegas chapel says it has 10 times the number of weddings planned today. Today is also the battle over the quarterbacks. Two of the top in sports right now both wear the number 12, Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers. Wisconsin even declared this Aaron Rodgers Day. Ooh.